Hey guys, you know what day it is? It is interview day. Hey guys, so I just got back from my interview um, with a company that I've been talking to for about a month. So I'm going to explain to you kind of what the process was and how I got uh, to this point and what happened today. Uh, here's a little bit of footage from me going in and coming back out. So yeah, just check that out and I will see you after. Bye. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed uh, the footage that I shot downtown Durham um, and the Bulls Stadium, our minor league team down here. Um, so I kind of just wanted to go over maybe the process of how I got this interview and what it's been like for the other places that I've interviewed at. Um, basically, you apply, first step, that's pretty self-explanatory. I have found that applications in the tech world, or at least down here, are a lot more minimal than, say, retail. Uh, application processes. There's no real screening off the get. Um, it's just kind of resume, who you are, what your name is, cover letter, um, and maybe like a, a GitHub profile, like that sort of stuff. It's nothing, it doesn't take an hour or two hours to apply to places um, like it did for my last job. So once you've applied, typically what I've found is you get an email back um, if they found that your resume is up to snuff and like what they're looking for and they're going to ask you for a phone screen. That phone screen uh, typically is like 30 minutes long. It's usually not super technical as far as I can tell. It's usually with somebody from the recruiting department of the company and they just kind of want to get a feel for who you are and if like you aren't a psychopath or something. Um, and then once you get done with that phone interview, this is kind of where the process splits and it's different for a lot of different places. Coding challenges or an in-person interview or an over-the-phone tech um, kind of interview where you talk technical uh, with somebody from the IT department is kind of where that goes next. For this position, they basically sent me a coding challenge, which it took them a while to get back to me after my phone interview. I got super nervous that I wasn't moving on, and I found out it was because they were coming up with kind of a challenge. They sent me a PNG like mock up of a web page that they wanted to make and told me to make it. So I made it HTML, CSS, Angular and sent it back to them. I heard back after a few days um, saying that I was moving on in the process and scheduled the in-person interview that I had today. So once I got there and went through the whole interview process, I found out that it's just me and one other person, so we're gonna keep our fingers crossed. Um, but the interview process itself, like at the company I interviewed at today, uh, was kind of a like round robin. You talked with uh, different groups of people throughout the day for about 45 minutes a piece. And that's one thing, there are long interviews in the tech scene, at least from what I can tell, a lot longer than what like retail um, or food interviews are. This one lasted two and a half to three hours. Um, and I talked to seven different people, everywhere from the people I'd be working with on the team to other front-end developers on other teams, the CEO, the VP of product, and then at the end, the HR person for the company. Um, it was a really good experience. The CEO is an awesome guy. Uh, the people I'd be working with are really cool. I enjoyed everything to do with the company. Their culture seems super awesome, super strong. They're kind of modeled after Spotify in their structure where it's a flat line structure and there's a lot of autonomy uh, between groups. And I'll actually link down in the description a couple of videos that explain Spotify's culture that I was told to watch when I started this process. It's really awesome. So yeah, moving forward, I'm gonna wait and uh, wait to hear back from this company and hopefully everything works out. Um, in the near future, the next video that I want to do is kind of 
what it's like in the application process and what I've learned applying to 30 to 40 different companies, what seems to catch people's eye and what seems to not, and maybe like how to read a job posting as a junior dev uh, coming out of code school, and maybe how to peruse and see what is a waste of time and what isn't. And that's kind of where I'm wanting to go next with it. And hopefully, 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 I'll have some good news about this job. All right, guys, so if you liked the video today, uh, feel free to like it down below, comment, ask me questions. I will be, like I said, 100% open to answering them. Uh, subscribe to follow along in this journey and feel free to share it. Um, Facebook, Twitter, I would love you forever. Like I said in the last one, um, I just wanna help people or kind of build a community around like this job search and fumbling through your first time in the tech world. So yeah, uh, feel free to do any of that. Also, I wanted to give a shout out to my buddy Jordan. If you guys liked the music that's been playing throughout this video, then go to the description. I have a link to his SoundCloud. All the music is from him. So thank you for letting me use that, Jordan, and check him out. So until next time, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon.